Hi, I'm Whitney from iWire, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to crimp a terminal. Uh, when you're doing any wiring projects, basically one of the first things you're going to have to learn how to do is how to crimp a terminal so you can put it into the plug so it can plug into the sensor, the receptacle, or whatever else it actually needs to plug into. Uh, today we'll be using our terminal crimper, which you can purchase online, as well as our strip and crimp tool, which you can purchase online as well. So one of the first steps to do before doing any type of crimping is wanting to confirm the pin order. It's very important when wiring that the connector is getting the right signals from the ECU or whatever other circuits in the car. So that way it's triggering the exact information we need so it works the way we expect. Uh, so I know that for this crankshaft center we have orange and white, so I've already cut our wire to length. Now normally you would be doing this in the car. For this example, we're doing it outside of the car just so you can get an idea of the actual skill. The same thing will be done in the car, whether it's in the car itself or on the table. So one of the most important parts of making a good crimp is making sure you have a solid connection. Uh, when it comes to a terminal, there are two aspects of it. There's these small wings, which will actually crimp around into the wire to make the solid connection needed to conduct the electricity in the system. And you also have your back wings, which usually hold the seal in place so that way there's no corrosion or dirt getting into the connector itself. Now, when you buy a connector kit from us, we give you the terminals and seals needed. So for this case, we're gonna be doing a crankshaft sensor plug. These are on just about every Subaru, so we think it's a good example to start with. So before I keep going, I'm gonna zoom in on my hands so you can actually see what I'm doing. So now that we have the pin order confirmed, we're gonna use our stripping tool to strip the wire to show the actual wire part of it, not the outer sleeving. So I have our strip and crimp tool, and you'll notice you'll wanna use the strand strand side and it has the different gauges so this wire is 20 gauge so we'll line it up with the 20 gauge stranded hole and you want to cut off about three or four millimeters of wire so you just line it up and just squeeze and pull and the way to tell you did the right length is when you line it up you want a little bit above and behind the terminal. Now that we've done that, we'll put our seals onto the wire. And I basically put them on, just give yourself a little bit of room to work. Next, we're gonna use our blue handled terminal crimper. Now what you'll notice here is there's little numbers and those are depending on the gauges. So for most wires, it's going to be two on the front wings and four on the second wings. Now it, de it depends, like I said, on how much the gauge is. So as you can see, they're smaller to bigger sizes. So just try to use the, the gauge, uh, the crimp size that you need. Now I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna hold the wire and the terminal. I'm holding the back wings. I'm gonna hold it in one hand. I'm gonna line up my number two on the front wings. Everything's lined up and then I'm gonna press. And you want it, this is the step you want a gorilla and I'll actually do two hands. And it's nice to have it on the table cause you can put your weight on it and get a really solid crimp, which looks like that. Next, you'll kind of bend it just a little. I don't wanna bend it too much. Push up the seal so the back wings, oops, so the back wings around the seal and then I'm going to use my number four slot and just with a medium pressure put it into place. You don't want to gorilla this step because you could damage the seal and we don't want that.
Once we've crimped our back wings and our first wings, we can sl slide it into the connector. Some of them go like face up, some go face down. So you can push in and if it doesn't go in, you know that's not the right direction. So this one goes face down and it makes that lovely little snap so you know it's in there.